Today we're grading the banyan tree. Team Mulberry, Team Fig, Southeast Asia. Most trees have to do all this extra shit to get their seeds planted. Helicopter seed pods, dropping seeds in the ocean, wishing well style, arson. But the banyan tree was like, I will fucking kill a tree with my bare branches before I ever try to get planted. So the banyan developed a three phase plan. Phase one, banyan finds a local band of wasps, which they sign to an exclusive contract where they can only use banyan figs for their gross bug parasite shit. In return, the wasps only pollinate banyan flowers, honeybee style. Trees have to figure out creative ways to plant their seeds and fuck themselves. Once the banyans are pregnant, they start growing figs. Phase two. Then the banyans get all the animals in the forest addicted to their figs. Not telling them the figs are filled with wasps and eating them will make them shit immediately. Phase three. All of the trees in the forest have been shitted on. Inside of the shit balls, a little baby banyan seed is growing. When it pops out, it starts reaching its little baby seed roots to the ground. Once they touch ground, the little baby roots get jacked and multiply into millions of branches that strangle every tree that got shit on to death. The thing about trees is they don't move fast. Like if a bird shit a banyan seed on me, I just wipe it off, it'd be good luck, you know? But for a tree, it's like, the minute that little banyan root hits the ground and starts snorting up those minerals, AKA plant food, it's a wrap. Grown up banyans just link branches and start walking outward in every direction. Trees just die inside of them, leaving hollowed out trunk relief sculptures. And nobody says shit, because every toucan, fruit bat, and gibbon in town is still getting paid off in Fig Newtons. Even Buddha got got by banyan trees. And before he got choked out, he was like, honestly, I'd rather be hanging from a mountain with a tiger under me eating a strawberry, but who's complaining? When legendary poet John Milton blind freestyled Paradise Lost to his daughters, he made Adam cover his big, huge dick and Eve cover her juicy, hairy pussy with banyan leaves. John Milton did it to show respect to banyans and also keep with the oppressive censorship culture of the time. Banyans are undefeated against all trees in their climate zone and have been known to go invasive and take out pine trees. Banyan, you came on the scene and fucked up the rules of what a tree even is. But you'll never be apple tree, orange tree, banana tree, peach tree, lime tree, maple tree, no matter how many times you strangle those trees to death. C minus.